Hey guys, even here, and since we are half of a week away from Vancouver Pro, I went and I checked the official list of competitors. We have a lot of pretty big names and a couple of interesting things, a couple of surprises, I'd say. I'm sure that you guys heard about these competitors right here that they are competing. For example, Samson Gauda, who took second place at the British Grand Prix. We have Quinton Area. We have Lucas Osladil, he's one of the favorites. Ian Valier, also one of the favorites. Josh Wade, if he brings that crispy conditioning that he does sometimes, for example, at this California Pro, he was crispy as hell, but at Chicago Pro, he was pretty soft. And that doesn't work for him, so he needs to be crispy if he wants to place high. You also have Quincy Winkler, who is pretty much mentioned only because he's Rolly's brother, but he's not really a threat to anything here. He's probably going to be one of the last places. And the actual surprise is going to be on the next page. And that is actually Hadi Chopin, if that's how you pronounce his name. Some people say it's Chopin, some people say Chopin. If you guys are from Iran or Middle East, please let me know how do I pronounce his name properly. Anyways, he is one of the favorites to win the show. He is actually a 212 competitor, but he doesn't look like he's 212. He must be super short if he really weighs 212 pounds, which is roughly 97 kilograms. Anyways, many people think that this guy was better than Flex Lewis. And I think it was very close. And I think it's much closer between them than it is with Derek Langsford or any other 212 guys. I think Heidi Chopin is currently the best 212 competitor. I don't think anybody is better than him right now. Flex Lewis is out of the game. He's now open class competitor, soon to be at least. But as far as 212 competitors, if Hadi actually decides to keep competing in 212, and not transfer to open, which he does sometimes. And for example, for this show, he's going to pit in the open division, which is actually a great division for him. I mean, he's a bit shorter than most of those guys, but it doesn't really hurt him that much because he packs a lot of muscle in that frame. His muscles are so dense. He's so thick overall. He just looks freaking impressive. If you compare him to some of the other 212 guys, like, for example, Zane Watson or a guy Sternino from the previous show from Chicago Pro, not even close. Night and day difference. He looks like he can be father of them. He's just much, much bigger. He's more complete. His conditioning is supreme. And I think if he competes at this Vancouver Pro, he has probably the biggest chances to win the show. But now the big question is, is Hadi going to be allowed to travel to Canada? He has some visa issues and I have no idea why is that. I mean, USA and Canada are kind of strict about that, for sure. I mean, those are like the best countries in the world. Everybody wants to live there. But I'm sure Hadi has some law issues or some kind of criminal record. I know it's not cool to assume things like this, but I don't think they would just forbid him to get inside of the United States or Canada if he's one of the top competitors in bodybuilding. So there is probably something that we don't know, and I hope somehow he will get there and compete. Because if he does... In all likeliness, he will win the show. But there is another guy, another surprise, and he's not on the list for whatever reason. He probably signed up for it late. And that would be our British Grand Prix winner, arguably the best British competitor, Nathan Diasha. I may actually even do a video about that, who is the best British competitor of the day. And uh, it would be between Luke Sando and Nathan Diasha. If you take a look who won more pro shows, then it will be Nathan for sure. But I don't know if Luke even ever won a pro show. If you guys know what pro shows he won, tell me in the comment section below. But Nathan Diasha never placed third at the Arnold Classic. And the Arnold Classic was stacked this year. Nathan says that Luke took third place and the lineup was weak, but it was not. We had Brandon Curry, we had William Bonek, we had Rolly Winkler, we had Cedric McMillan. Very, very good competitors and Luke was third. So I'd say... Probably look, but we need to go over this a little bit more, so we'll see, maybe I make a video about it. Anyways, Nathan Diasha posted a video of himself training, and he says this. So guys, this is where we are at six days out of the Vancouver Pro Show. I believe we'll be fuller and a bit harder, but we've got some tricks in our bag we're looking to use. Matt Jansen, his coach, knows what he's doing, and we trust in the process. Then he's thanking his sponsors, and he says, Canada, see you soon. So yeah, we're gonna see Nathan Diasha at Vancouver Pro. And the thing is, it's pretty much about whether Hadi Chopin shows up or not. Because I think if Hadi actually shows up and he brings the shape that he knows how to bring, 
he's going to win the show because he has much fuller and much more developed back than Aiden. Much, much more. He has so much muscle on that back, it's just silly. It's still even comparing these two guys. And the same thing goes with his hamstrings. From the front, pretty much the same thing. Hard is just much thicker, much denser, much fuller, bigger, basically. Pretty much the only thing that Nathan has on Hardy is his height. So he may seem a little bit bigger if you compare them one next to another. But if you take a look at body part by body part, pretty much Hardy wins in every single body part. His legs are bigger, the outer sweep is much more prominent. Nathan is not known for having big quad sweeps, but he developed his inner thighs. So his legs are not looking weak, but pff, I mean, Hadi's legs are much bigger. The same thing is with back and hamstrings, as I already said, and you know, Hadi is just packed. There is a lot of muscle in his frame. Nathan still has a couple of more years of growing until he gets to that level. What are the chances of Ian Valier winning the show or Lucas Osladil, for example? Not very high. I don't think these guys are that caliber as of yet. But it's going to be interesting seeing them compared, seeing them one next to another. At this British Grand Prix, despite Nathan saying that he gained 3 pounds of muscle, he seemed downsized to me. He was more conditioned, but he was much fuller at the New York Pro 2018. Just conditioning and his shape and everything was enough to beat a bunch of quote-unquote good pros. But how would he fare against top of the top, the best bodybuilders in the world? I think he would have better chances if he came in a bit fuller. So I'm looking forward to this Vancouver Pro Show, it's gonna be exciting, that's for sure. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Who do you think will win? Whatever is your take, tell me in the comment section below. And I wanna say thank you for all the support. Yesterday you commented on my videos and gave me a lot of support and means a lot. It motivates me to push harder with this YouTube channel. So once again, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. All the best guys, bye bye.